Hiya, so this is the second lesson of the third video for circles with me with a snotty nose. So it says find the length of the tangents to the point 85 to the circle. Well, that's quite interesting. So we know we've got a circle uh, with a centre of 2 minus 1 and it's got a radius of 4. So if I draw a picture, there's my centre at 2 minus 1. Now, it wants the length of the tangents to the point 8,5. Right, so 8,5 is right it up, so there's the point 8,5. I'm not going to be able to do it, but you can draw it on using a ruler, touching and going through the point. See my points out, I'm going to have to move my blue point. So that's the point where they intersect. So there's my tangents done. So these here are my tangents. Now, I might call this one here point C to make it easier. Now, what's quite nice from your circle theorem that you did, because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, I've got like a mini right angle triangle. So I'm going to call that one point B. Oh, I can't use that C because you see for centre. Let's call that one D instead. Sorry, everybody. It's because it's not labelled at all on the thing. This one I'm going to call point A. Um, and I've got the centre in the middle here. There. Now what's quite nice... Oh dear. My God, I'm just... just going to pause for a minute because I just need to blow my nose. Sorry about that. So, um, what's quite important about this picture, you might not notice, but the length from B to D is the same as the length from A to D. So I can really, if you want to learn for the tangents, I just need to work out one of them. Right. So what do I know? I've got, so if I look at B to D to C, I've got B to D, which is what I want. I've got a right angle triangle. Got that length there. So I've got the centre, which is 2, comma, minus 1, and I've got that point D, which is 8, comma, 5. Right, what I'm going to do, because I've got a right angle there, I'm going to do two lots of Pythagoras. So I'm going to use Pythagoras first. That'll work out C to D. Now I also know that the radius is 4. Once I've done the Pythagoras to work out C to D, I'm going to do Pythagoras to work out B to D. Right, so let's have a look. So if you imagine, there's another little mini triangle from C to D, which kind of goes across and up. So it goes from 2 across to 8 across, so it's 6 wide. So it's going from 2 across to 8 across. And it's going from minus 1 up to 5 up. So it's going 6 up. These aren't the best numbers. So the length of C to D, so if you imagine I put this tiny little triangle on there. I don't really want to draw that on there because it'll just confuse you. So the length of C to D would be the square root of 6 squared plus 6 squared. So that's going to be uh, 6 root 2 I reckon. Six root two there. So that's this length now. So I've got this middle length here. We've got six root two there. So I've done, I've used the point C, the centre, and I've used the point on the outside to work out the length from the centre going through to D. And now because I know that B to C is four and C to D is six root two or root seventy two. Even have, couldn't you? So, could look like a 72. I'm now going to work out BD, so I'm going to use Pythagoras for BD. So B to D will be the square root of. Now you've got to be careful this time because B to D is a short side. 
Whereas C to D was the long side because it was opposite. So that's a long side because it was opposite the right angle. So I've got my root 72 all squared. So I'm going to do from C to D all squared minus C to B all squared. So B to D will be my root 72 all squared minus the radius, which is 4 squared. So B to D will be 72 takes 16. So what's that going to give me? 56. Uh, which is 2 root 14. So that's the length of the tangent. I'm on six minutes, but I might just plow through the next one because it's only a quick one. Or maybe I should just do two, so do three small ones. Let's do three small ones. Sorry about that one, it looks really messy. It's just two lots of pipe, I did a sense of.